All right, so look, YouTube, season three just recently started, and I'm going to be giving you the top five best class setups here to use in season three, and these are going to be some of the most overpowered guns in the game right now. And honestly, even after the nerfs that they dropped, the guns are still overpowered. Like, the M16, you know, it's not going to ever really be nerfed until they literally make it the worst gun in the game. And the FFAR was quote-unquote nerfed, but it's not really nerfed either. The Psykov got touched. You know, I ain't really seen anything different with it either. And honestly, I, I I just don't, you know, I don't really think they nerf anything when they say they nerf it. You know, they might occasionally, like, tweak it a little bit, but it's not really tweaked like that. So, make sure if you haven't already, should leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on. And follow me on all my socials. Links will be down in the description below. Alright, let's get into the top 5 most overpowered class setups here in Season 3. So for the first weapon, we're going to be using the M16 because you know the M16 literally hits you like a bus and if it keeps hitting you, then you're going to be out of there. For the muzzle, you want the agency silencer. It gives you sound suppression, which keeps you off the radar when firing, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, which is how fast the bullet travels, and effective damage range. For the barrel, you want the 20.5 inch task force. It gives you more effective damage range and more bullet velocity. For the optic, you want the axle arms three times. For your underbarrel, you want the field agent foregrip. It gives you horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control, which really helps with this gun because when you're consistently firing, the gun likes to shoot, like jump up, like, you know, from the gun firing. So like, boom, boom, boom. And for your ammunition, you want the 45 round mag or honestly, my preference, I prefer the 45 round mag, but you can also use the Stenag 60 round. It's really your, like, whichever one you prefer. For the second weapon, you want the Amax because, you know, like the Amax, it's honestly not been touched in a minute and it was meta here like a few seasons ago. I'm pretty sure like season six, that and the Kilo were the meta weapons. And honestly, it, it'll probably be meta now because it hasn't been touched and the burst weapons were touched. But for your first attachment, the muzzle, you want the monolithic suppressor. It gives you sound suppression, which keeps you off the radar when firing and damage range. For the barrel, you want the XRK Zodiac S440. It gives you damage range bullet velocity which is how fast the bullet travels and recoil control for the optic you want the vlk 3.0 optic it gives you zoom level for your underbarrel you want the commando foregrip it gives you recoil stabilization and aiming stability and the last attachment for the ammunition you want the 45 round mags it gives you magazine ammo capacity for the third weapon you want the car 98k because let's let's be honest a lot some people here snipe and some people don't really snipe but for the best like you know, this is honestly the best sniper, even though it's considered an attack rifle or a marksman rifle, my bad. For the first attachment, the muzzle, you want the monolithic suppressor. It gives you sound suppression, which keeps you off the radar when firing, and damage range. For the barrel, you want the Singar Custom 27.6 inch. It gives you more damage range, bullet velocity, which is how fast the bullet travels, and recoil control. For your third attachment, the laser, you want the TAC laser. It gives you ADS speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. For the underbarrel, you want the bipod. It gives you crouch slash prone recoil control. And honestly, it just gives you more control of the weapon overall when you're shooting. For the optic, you want the sniper scope. It gives you zoom level. And honestly, it really depends like if you want the sniper scope or like your preference, you know, I either use the sniper scope or the variable zoom scope because sometimes like my eyes aren't the best but it, it really depends on how you prefer like it gives you zoom level and magnification toggle now don't don't get me wrong they're both like visible to enemies when you're when you have the sights aimed down so it's really up to you which one you prefer for the fourth class setup in the video you want the ffar and we all know the ffar has been meta since like I'm pretty sure season one of the integration, like FFAR, well, the MAC-10 was, but you know, like once the MAC-10 got nerfed, everyone switched over to the FFAR, and honestly, this thing was not touched in the nerf or in the update. So for the first attachment, the barrel, you want the 20.3 inch takedown. It gives you effective damage range, which is just how much the bullet does at like certain distances. For your second attachment, the under barrel, you want the field agent grip. It gives you horizontal recoil control and vertical recoil control. You will be losing a little bit of mobility, but you'd rather have more accuracy, like better control of the weapon than, you know, having the fastest ADS gun and the recoil just bouncing across your screen. For the ammunition, you want the Stenag 50 round mag. It gives you ammo capacity. And I know you're probably thinking, oh, why aren't you running the Salvo 50 round fast mag? But it takes away from your mobility. 
For the rear grip, you want the serpent wrap. It gives you ADS time, which also it like helps your control and it gives you that little bit of mobility to help you like over the edge, I guess you could say, like faster ADS, which will help you fire more. And for the last attachment, the stock, you want the Raider stock. It gives you ADS firing move speed, aim walk-in movement speed, and sprint to fire time. All right, guys, for the last weapon, we're going to be using the Psykov pistol. And the first attachment is going to be the muzzle, the monolithic suppressor. It gives you sound suppression, which keeps you off the radar when firing. And it gives you damage range, which is honestly a big plus with the pistols. For your second attachment, the barrel, you want the Sorokin 140mm auto. It gives you fire rate, and it makes you fully automatic. This is the only pistol in Modern Warfare that is fully automatic. For your trigger action, you want the heavyweight double action. It gives you ADS speed and sprint to fire speed and of course you know for the ammunition you're gonna want the 80 round drum because like you you just can't go wrong with this if you're playing solos you know the 80 round drum will come in clutch if multiple people are like third partying you you know duos trios and quads as long as you don't miss that many shots on the enemy you should definitely be able to kill them in one mag and for the last attachment the rear grip you want the vlk alita it gives you recoil control and this gun doesn't have much recoil but you know, whenever you're throwing in an attachment for recoil control, it always comes in clutch because it'll make it have like zero recoil. Oh my god, bro, this lobby is so good, dude. Nah, dude, it's all good. Trust.
26, bro. I came in fourth. 